Another consideration when designing your applications is clearances. Um, one of the first real world lessons that engineers learn after graduating from school is that you can use SOLIDWORKS to draw things that cannot be assembled in the real world. Um, another way that people see this all the time is you buy a couch and you try to get it into your house, it doesn't fit through the door. So now you either have to modify your couch or return it to the store and no one wants to return a couch. So similarly, when designing your application, you always want to consider clearances when selecting a retaining ring. We have here one of our, two of our problem solvers, the HOI and SHI series. The, these rings are inverted lug versions of the HO and the SH ring and allow for a little more clearance in the um, in your installation and design. And we'll go to the next slides and see these in action. So this is an RE ring that's trying to rotate, or a shaft that's trying to rotate with an RE ring on it, but we're getting some interference from the um, tabs on the HO ring. So we can move to an HOI version and you can see we get full rotation. Another version of a similar issue, installing an SH ring in a bore. Um, you can see here the SH ring just after it fits doesn't quite fit into the housing. So we can solve that with an SHI ring. Slides easily into the housing. Um, as you design parts, you'll see this more and more, and hopefully one of these parts or one of our other low clearance options will get you out of some trouble one day. <laughs>